In this episode, I show you how to take a picture of your house during the day and then convert it over so that it looks like it was taken at twilight. All right, friends, so here we are in Lightroom. We'll go ahead and get started. You can see here, these are the frames that we're gonna be working with. This is our base frame. And then most of them are gonna be these shots where we use flash to light up the interior spaces. Of course, there's this one, the overexposed shot. That had a very particular purpose. We're gonna use this just for this section here. We're gonna go ahead and mask that in in order to add a little brightness to that area because right there, it, you know, you can tell it's kind of dark. So let's go ahead and do our initial workup on this main base image. We'll lower the exposure just a bit. And because it's gonna be a twilight conversion and uh, at twilight, things are a little bit more blue, we'll move the white balance to the left, add a little bit more blue to the, the scene. Go ahead and add some contrast. We'll move our highlights down quite a bit. Uh, we'll even move our shadows down a little bit like that. Make a few more adjustments here. We'll go ahead and add some clarity. We're going to add some saturation. And so for the most part, it looks like this is ready to go, except for that area right there. Let's go ahead and move that down. We we'll use our exposure brush to bring that down quite a bit because that was the one area where the sun was just kind of shining in on us and uh, causing problems. So we'll do that. In fact, we're going to do it twice. And it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be better than nothing. Okay, so there we are. Uh, everything else is pretty much ready to go. So we're going to go ahead, select all these images, right click on them, say edit in Photoshop as layers and uh, as we la let it load up let's go ahead and talk about gear the gear that we're gonna need in order to capture these shots so this is gonna be a moderate skill level tutorial and in addition to your camera you're also going to need a sturdy tripod and a geared tripod head for fine-tuned adjustments we're gonna be using flash to light up the windows but the camera is going to be outside of course so we will need a transmitter to trigger the flash and we'll need some way to remotely trigger the camera when we get to each room too. My Sony camera has a wireless app built in that will talk to my iPad, but if you have a Canon or a Nikon camera, you'll probably want to get your hands on a Cam Ranger, which allows you to do the same thing. As always, you can find the gear list for this episode in the show notes area, which you can find by clicking the link above the video if you're watching on Facebook, below it if you're watching on YouTube. Just click that link and scroll to the bottom of the page Okay, let's get started. All right, so now that you know the gear that you need, here we are back in Photoshop. You can see over here that all of our layers are loaded up. This main base layer, we're gonna call background. We'll move it to the bottom. Everything will be built on top of it. Here, we're gonna actually turn off all of the rest of the layers and then we'll start turning them on and editing them one by one. So you can see here, this is this light here. We're gonna focus on that, but Notice also that when we turn these these layers on that were supposed to be for flash, uh, as I was taking these these photos, the sun was coming up. So we have extra sun here, we have extra sun here, and we don't want any of that in there. All we really want is this window. So what we're going to do, we'll zoom in here, and we're going to use our selection tool to go ahead and select all the bright areas of the window essentially, right? Just like this. So we select that, we select the layer itself, and then we'll go ahead and hit this mask button down here, boom, that masks that in. Now if we go back here like this, you can see that when light off, now lights on, off, on, off, on. Okay, and we just do that with the next one. So we'll go ahead and turn this one on, looks like it's this here and this section here so we'll zoom in over there real quick and do the same thing alright so there we go we'll go ahead and hit the mask button now you probably noticed there was also some lighted area right here so we'll just go ahead and take our paintbrush tool we're gonna paint on the layer mask with white this white color over here and we'll size it up just to the right like this and just paint a little bit of that in there now we'll zoom back out 
that one's done. On to the next. All right, so which one's next? Up there. So that second floor light is what we're going to be focusing on right here. Let's go ahead and get to it. Start by zooming in and then grab our selection tool. Add the layer mask. Boom. We zoom out like this. And there it is. Next one is going to be that room over there on the left. Same process. All right, so we've got it selected. Add the mask, zoom out. Off on, off on, there we go. There's the last window. Let's go ahead and zip in on there. Grab that selection tool. All right, got that. So let's go ahead and add the layer mask. All right, so there we are. So we have all that. Next section is going to be this area right here. So same general pro process is going to apply. We'll zoom in real quick. Use that selection tool. We're going to select kind of rough shot right through here what is going to be the focus of this, which is pretty much right here. We'll select it all up like this and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna feather it in in a minute and then same process add the mask and if we zoom out you can see you know that's a little bit bright so we'll turn down the opacity on that layer to blend it in more right here's zero now we can just tune it up as we see fit that's probably perfect right there it's still bright around the edges though so what we'll do is take this paintbrush tool we'll make it large and we're just going to use the edge of it we're going to use the edge of it with black paint we're going to feather around the edges there just a little bit especially down here where the the bush is because that bush had kind of a harsh line to it okay so again now we can tune that up and down and get it just how we want it to. One more step, you want to take all of these other layers down here for the windows and you're going to want to set them to lighten mode, every single one of them. That helps it blend in just a little bit better so you may not notice a significant difference but on some shots it will make a difference and so if you just do it the right way it helps. So you switch it to lighten mode and so for the most part we have our windows done and now we're going to go ahead and the next step is to add in a sky so we're going to just you know you can just google up sky library find sky images online you can uh, of course take pictures of the sky but one way or another you want to get a picture of the sky and since it's a twilight shot you want to get a twilight sky image so you'll go ahead use your, your tool right here move select and select the sky image, grab the layer, drop it on your main image, just say yes to all these little warnings, and then you're going to stretch it so that it's covering all of your sky portion of your, your frame. So right about there is probably going to be best, I think, and we'll make sure that it's on the top. And now we're going to use this blending mode and the blending options. So click the FX, click your sky layer first, then the FX, then blending options, pop up this control panel and just use this bottom slider right here. Just slide it to the right until it starts blending in. And once, see how that sky is actually peeling back and showing the original sky? You don't want that to happen. So once that happens, you go back until it's right there course now we have the little problem in that the um, that that sky is being blended in with the house itself so same process again we're gonna hit the layer mask button and we're going to use this paintbrush tool uh, with the black ink over here you see the black ink All right and we're gonna select the layer mask and we're gonna start painting out or masking out or whatever you want to call it that sky area there and make sure it's not in on the, in any of the buildings on the other side because that's no fun and then make sure it's not in your trees it shouldn't be anywhere on the bottom but you know you might want to make this big and just cover it all cover your bases real quick and then 
we should be pretty good. It, it looks like we're pretty good there. So there we are. And finally, you know, you're going to want to do, you might want to do any type of, um, you know, quick edits like this. This moisture area down here is a little bit, uh, you know, distracting. This sunbeam right here is a little bit distracting. We'll talk about cloning and editing in a minute, but I'll just go ahead and zip through those real quick so you can see the, the type of thing we might want to do here before moving forward. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so there we are. We pretty much have it all done, ready to go back to Lightroom. So we merge the layers all down. Well, we got one more thing here. Let's go ahead and do this. Merge the layers down. File. Save. Wait for it to go back to Lightroom. Alright, so here we are back in Lightroom, ready for our final edits. We're going to go ahead. This looks like it's sloping, right? I, I At least it does to me. It looks like it's sloping just a little bit this way to the to the right, down, downward to the right. So we'll go ahead and uh, go down here, rotate this a little bit, just a tiny bit to the left, and then we're going to adjust our vertical walls so they don't look like they're falling down, they just look nice and straight. Then of course we're going to crop this out. We don't really need to see the neighbor's house very much or their satellite dish. We don't need to see the sidewalk. We don't need to see this whole tree. And that's going to look pretty good and balanced right about there. Okay, so here we are. There's the final image right there. So here's the before image, and here is the after image. Okay, friends, so there you go. A straightforward method you can use to convert your daylight photos over so that they look like a twilight scene. As always, let me say that if you're an agent, here in Michigan, who needs some photos taken for one of your listings, give me a call, 248-607-0892. I'll team up with you to make that happen. Be sure to join the Facebook group at PhotographyTipsForAgents.com to see more of these types of videos in the future. And if you want Facebook to show you the videos first, then be sure to click the like button just below this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon, but until then, make it a great day.